Reynolds back in a hurry. Reynolds to the hole. Rubio takes and scores! Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery, where all profits benefit Virginia's public schools grades K-12. through Buy clean, safe, reliable propane. Propane, exceptional energy. Buy GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And brought to you in part by the Virginia Athletics Foundation, dedicated to providing scholarship, operational, and facility support for the Virginia Athletics Program. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly, presented by the Virginia Lottery. Gives it front court to Singletary, the lob, the finish, Deani. Gives it right side, Joseph inside, the tip by Kane. Dornay bounce pass, back door, middle. Off the bounce, going inside, the running, just out, he got it. Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Somdev Devarman from your fifth rank men's tennis team. On this week's show, we have many great highlights and features. But first, here's your Player of the Week. The Play of the Week is brought to you by SunTrust Mortgage. We make the American dream come true every day. With six, with five. Singletary off the dribble, off the bounce, going inside. The running just out, he got it! That's why he is who he is, you know, that's... That's why he's a great player that everybody knows because he can make big plays like that. Back of the rim. Singletary got the rebound. He falls down. Gives it right side. Joseph inside. The tip by Kane. We just needed that rebound. I don't care who was around. I just had to go get it. And Jason was resilient. He got on the um, glass and he, knocked, he tipped it in and that was it. It just came off the, the right way and I tapped it in. Stay tuned. Virginia game highlights are coming up next. Singletary for the three. Got the look. Bingo. Here comes Sean. Welcome back to the Cavalier Sports Weekly. Charlottesville is still talking about the men's basketball team's incredible win at Clemson on Sunday. Virginia then returned to the John Paul Jones Arena to host Duke in Miami. Let's check out the game story. The Cavalier game highlights are presented by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hammonds with six with five, going right side. Outside Mays, got a good look for the three, good. Mays coming deep with six. Potter going baseline to fade away the jumper, good. Boy, Potter hit a pretty tough jumper there. Low, they feed the post, Booker again. Outside, Hamilton a three in the corner, good. Yeah, Vernon good. Hamilton going deep. Entry going low, and it's Mays, right hand pounding. And Mays, the drop step in the lane, 58-43. Timeout, Dave Lato. I said to them, guys, we're down 11, but it seems like 40 because we just had no life defensively. You know, we, were, we were allowing post-ups. We, we weren't playing proper pick-and-roll defense. We would do round drives, and, and, uh, and, and you know, it just didn't look like we had the kind of energy. And uh, lo and behold, offensively, you know, going to those baseline screens with JR, as we have been doing, uh, were great, and the other guys fed off of it. Adrian had three huge shots for us. Gianni trying to fight through it. A defense, and it'll be Reynolds, the jumper good. Reynolds off the dribble. Solomon in traffic. Sends it to Singletary. Everybody forgot about him. Layup good. Front court entry to JR. JR to the baseline. And the double team on JR. Outside diagonal, Sorare. AJ. They overload the weak side. The triple. Good. The three-pointer. The only thing that's different this year, we'd have folded last year. But this year, it seems like when people put their heads down, you know, there's always somebody else on the team that's real energetic and ready to keep pick the, the mood up of the team. JR is knocking down shots, and Adrian comes in, and he's knocking down shots. So I'm thinking, I mean, we just need stops, basically. And then, and uh, this is this is a team we can get stops against. I mean, we just got to dig in. Singletary going to the left side. Reynolds at the wing, and Singletary right back to Harris. Harris gets to Jr. off the down screen. The fadeaway for three. The catch by Jr. Jr. off the bounce. He'll pull 15 feet away. Jumper book it off the dribble. Singletary got in the lane. Looks in the corner. AJ for the three. He got it. Of all the guys that sometimes can get distracted by the surroundings, Adrian, by by his personality, never does. He just kind of, you know, lives in that box mentally. And so 
Uh, you know, the, the fact that he made a big three uh, on the road against Tech last year, it just speaks to a mindset more than just even a skill. Obviously, he has the skill to do it, but you know, his circumstances don't really bother him a lot. That was a big shot for me because you know they had they were just trying to focus on Jr. coming off those baseline screens, and it just happened to you know end up with two guys on him and left me a little open in the corner. And I always love those baseline shots, so I took it. Harris had the open three, but he's going to pass on it. Reynolds, Reynolds low to Kane. The drop step, no to AJ. Coming out 15, good! We got the a one-point game, 51. 15 feet away. Everybody just very vocal out there, very emotional. And the look on our face, I, mean, I knew we were going to win the game four minutes ago because they they felt those they won the game. But uh, our guys was hungry, and they kept saying, we're going to win, we're going to win. Everybody was t- telling each other, keeping each other up. And high in spirits, and we're able to get him out the win with the win. Singletary got by his man, gives it up. Diani for the jumper off the back of the rim. Singletary got the rebound. He falls down, gives it right side. Joseph inside. The tip by Kane. Jason Kane taps. 15 seconds to play. Hamilton back. Hamilton all the way to the hole. Throws it out, misses. Rebound on the floor. The rebound. Diani. Got, got, got the it's rebound. Not a shot. With 8.6. It'll be we, Virginia basketball. We just needed that rebound. I didn't care who was around, I just had to go get it. And I got out to Adrian, I thought he was going to make that shot, but uh, he didn't. And Jason was resilient, he got on the um, glass and he knocked and tipped it in, and that was it. I just came off the, the right way and I tapped it in. Uh, I actually forgot to play, I was supposed to screen for somebody, but the play sort of fell apart, and I just was in the right place at the right time. Uh, a tremendous gutty effort by by our guys, and uh, Clemson is a very, very good team. I, I, I don't have a great memory, but I, I don't know that I can remember anything like that. Crossover. He got free. Singletary inside. He'll hit that layup with the left hand. Singletary, a nice little crossover move. Joseph got the rebound on the weak side. Singletary out of traffic. Singletary for the three. Got the look. Bingo! Here comes Sean. I knew if, if anything, I mean, this is where we, we would get him. I mean, everything was set up for us here, playing them here at home in, the, in, the, in this arena, in this place with our crowd. I mean, I, I knew we had to get him. And as you say, the help was there. Just got the block rather than the charge. Reynolds low to Kane. Another jam. They forgot about Jason. Singletary going right by Paulus, kicks in the corner, Gotta the three, it. jumper, bullseye! But for most of the game, we, we, we were ugly because we couldn't get what we wanted and we were sluggish, our, our motion wasn't giving us what we needed, they were really, really playing and it was much more them than it was us today. Terry now breaks free off the dribble, kicks right side. Deani fade away, 18. Perfect. Nice start in the second half. Mamadi stays hot. They were trying to post low and threw it away, and Reynolds right back against Nelson. Backs him off, 17. Shot good. JR gets a deuce. JR penetrates, gets it left side. Tad. Tad unable to get the shot. Rotating JR. JR the jump shot good for three. The best player of the game was JR. He had 25 points against the top notch defensive team, and that's pretty impressive. You know, and he carried us through the first two halves of the game. We just persevered and tried to, you know, play that chess match. And, you know, I was on the bench trying to figure out and talking to the assistants about what we could successfully run that would soften them up. And they never really softened. It was just, you know, we, we were a little bit more uh, mentally tougher. Reynolds got by his man. Reynolds inside. The teardrop got it to go. J.R. Reynolds. Oh, he twisted an ankle. He got a cramp, I think. It was painful. You know, especially trying to play, and, you know, he kept cramping up. Uh, but, you know, the team did a good job. You know, Sean made some huge baskets for us. And, you know, that's what that's what leadership's all about, you know. He's showing everybody that was watching today what he has inside of him. You know, he, he made those big free throws. Uh, he kept attacking, you know, in and out of the game where he really, uh, it was hard. And those of us who had cramps know how painful that can be. As he cramped up, he went down. I know I had to step up and make a big play. Right side, it's Singletary. Singletary off the dribble. Singletary for the deuce and the tie. Got it. We, we came back from a large deficit today as we did the other day. And, you know, I really don't want to live like that, obviously. But 
um, you know, to, to come back and, and, and play defense the way we, we did. And resilient only begins to describe it. And he timed it perfectly and got the ball to Sean. A crossover by Sean. Crossover again. The grab by Nelson. Inside. He elevates. Fade away. No good. Rebound. Deani got it back. Deani in the crowd with the hook. Got it to go with the right hand. What a Bobby. Today was a big game for both teams. We're both on winning streaks and nobody wants to lose it. I mean, everybody just put every, all their heart into the game today and luckily we're coming out with a victory. So Duke to play it in. Game tied. 30 seconds. Only eight on the shot clock. Shire baseline in the corner against Tat. Wants the jumper. Throws up a bad shot. Hits the side of the back hole. For one. And the Cavs can hold for one. I gotta, you know, come out and give it on the defense and you know, give it all out. And uh, coach, you know, we we knew that uh, we needed to stop at that moment. And coach believed in me, and he, you know, put me out there. So we know that the only way that we could win the game was stop them from scoring. We have to stop them from scoring, and we have to score. So going to the right side with six, with five. Single Terry off the dribble, off the bounce, going inside. The running jump shot. He's got it. It was going to be a fake screen. I was going to go left. But uh, the big man switched on to me from the fake screen to Jasper Grabbers. And uh, I know I had the advantage of him quickness-wise. And I was thinking about pulling up. But I gave him a head fake and he went for it. So I was able to get deep into the paint. And I got bumped by whoever the help defender was. But I was still able to keep my balance for a little bit and get up a shot. So well, I don't think I've ever played in the game. I mean, this close, this tight, and, and this exciting to have that last second shot fall like it did. And it was just amazing. The quarterback throws, gets it into Paulus, the catch for three in the win. Off the back of the rim, he had a great look. Game over. Oh, my goodness. It is all about blood, sweat, and tears. And you give, and you give, and you give, and you get back. Okay? And it is the most important thing I said, and I saw it. Overtimes are made for teams that won. I'm not going to allow myself, I'm not going to allow you to, 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 to be as high as we get right now and then throw it away on my Saturday. Because we're going places. Because right, we're going places, and America knows about it. Let's go. They stay in the zone. Lars coming up top now. Reynolds for the deep three. Got a good look. Swish. Cavs want to push the tempo, and Reynolds across the timeline off the dribble. Rotate Singletary. 24 feet for three. Book it. You could just see that one coming. Dealing with... Success is as delicate as dealing with adversity. And that was our chore over the last couple of days. And, and I thought, especially at the beginning of the game, that we really responded uh, well and uh, you know, didn't play our best game, didn't play our best emotional game. But I give credit to them for taking care of their business. Joseph Singletary, top of the key. Adrian, wide open three. He got a good look. Boom. Low to Lars. Lars at the box. Single coverage. Harris coming out for the three. And Will Harris knocks down a tray. Off the down screen, Reynolds. Reynolds pounds in the lane, got hit, throws it up, and one. Hands on the rebound, and Reynolds. Reynolds in traffic. JR kicks Singletary for the three. Get him. Yeah. We definitely got in the rhythm early. We got them. They didn't. We didn't get them a chance to get any rhythm. They knocked down some shots in the second half. Uh, Try to come back, but they never really got anywhere close to gaining the momentum. And uh, I mean, we were just mature out there. We bounced back after beating Duke, uh, like I expected, like Coach expected, and that, we took a big step tonight. Reynolds in front court to Singletary, the lob, the finish, Diani, the jam. The rebound to Diani, just tapped it to him. Reynolds right back, Reynolds to Diani, Diani for the triple, boom! That is number eight in the first half. It was, it was kind of tough playing Thursday night and trying to come around and, and just uh, turn around and, and play again tonight. And such a tough game, an overtime game Thursday night, and then come back out here and perform. Um, I think we, 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 we worked hard tonight. We grinded it out. It went high off the backboard and missed. Reynolds back. Diani no look. Diani from the left side of the lane. Singletary rotating over. Book it. Yeah. Harris going left side. Jason Kane, 21 to shoot. To the free throw line. No look. Layout. Oh, Reynolds to Tunge. Kane gets it to J.R. Reynolds. So, J.R. right back for the three. Splash. Screen going left. Goes between a man. Outside. Diani for the three. Off the rim. No good. Harris the rebound. Harris the putback. J.R. Reynolds at the scorer's table ready to come in. Singletary the catch got by his man. Dice Kane to jam. Oh, what a play by Sean. But I thought, you know, that we really toughed it out more mentally today than, than physically and, and, and obviously against a dangerous offensive team and, uh, and, and got ourselves a win, so we're real happy about that. At UVA, student-athletes are some of the busiest people you'll find on ground. 
We followed women's basketball player Jaina Hardik for a day to show you a typical day in her busy life. Colorado first year Jaina Hardik is your Student Athlete of the Week. The Student Athlete of the Week is presented by the Virginia Lottery. In 2006, the Virginia Lottery contributed a record $454 million to public schools throughout the Commonwealth. Our team is off to a great start as we beat Notre Dame and Illinois this past weekend. I've been fortunate enough to play well and have been recognized by the ACC this week. It feels good to say that the tennis season is heating up. Who's Heating Up is brought to you by Propane Exceptional Energy. Well, I think it's a great honor to be named ACC Player of the Week. You know, Sumdev's worked really hard. He's seen a lot of improvements over his game this past summer and fall. And, you know, he's very deserving of the award. He really helped lead our team in the matches against both Illinois and Notre Dame, both great programs. And, you know, he's very deserving of the ACC Player of the Week award. I had a few tough singles matches uh, in there and a couple tough doubles ones as well with me and Trent. But uh, it felt good to come out winning most of them. And, uh, you know, to be, uh, to be the best player in the ACC in that week, is, uh, I mean, it's a great honor. And we played a really tough uh, tournament at Florida, so uh, I got in about, about 12, 13 matches, so that definitely, that definitely meant I was match prepared and showed in the first two matches I played of the season. Um, so I was definitely mentally, mentally better prepared for matches. He has a, an all-court game, whereas when he came here, he was a much more defensive player. He's become much more aggressive. He has a bigger serve now, much bigger forehand. He's able to come forward. He's really taken on a leadership role both on and off the court and been a great example for the guys, um, both off the court and certainly his work ethic and determination on the court. My ambitions, uh, personally, I just want to be a good leader out there. I don't think there's limits to where Somdev can go. You know, he's a he's a great player. He's got he's one of the most mentally tough players uh, I've ever coached, and he's certainly uh, come a long ways in a short time. So, I think the sky's the limit for Somdev. Coming up after the break, Alicia feeds high post left. Robertson bounce pass back through to a cutting right. Welcome back to the show. Our women's basketball team hosts the number one ranked Duke this Friday, and we've got the highlights for you 
and our women's basketball spotlight. The Women's Basketball Spotlight is presented by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. Zoe will bring it back for the Cavaliers. Charnay tries the middle, now slides right on the table. Good pass across the key. Little's a good catch, and the finish for the left hand. Tamisha feeds high post left. Robertson bounce pass back through to a cutting right. She slides through and scores off the glass. The entry feed to Bales, deflected by right, taken by Zoe. Charnay bounce pass back to her. Little's way up good, and a foul. What a setup by Zoe. An equally good finish by Little's. In other Cavalier sports action this week. Thanks for watching Cavalier Sports Weekly. On next week's show, we'll follow the men's basketball teams as they take on rivals, Maryland and Virginia Tech, plus more great stories and features. I'm Shomdev Devarman, and until then, go Hoos! Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery, where all profits benefit Virginia's public schools grades K-12. through Buy clean, safe, reliable propane. Propane, exceptional energy. Buy GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And brought to you in part by the Virginia Athletics Foundation, dedicated to providing scholarship, operational, and facility support for the Virginia Athletics Program.